Last year, as part of some of our dressage disasters, we started talking about judging bias and scoring. So this year, in these two dressage disasters, while they're smaller disasters, I think it opens the opportunity for us to have an interesting discussion about judging and scoring, which is also one of the hot topics here at Dressage. And I think it lends itself to a lot of learning experiences, understanding dressage and understanding judges. So let's take a look at Kevin Coleman's rides in the Grand Prix. He had a small minor dressage disaster through the Piaf Passage Tour got his horse through it, did a last few steps of passage, and then went into the walk and had a decent ride after that. Now let's take a look at what the judges said. Now, Janet Foy is known to be in the hot seat here at Dressage Hub, and yet again, here we are. Now a zero means that it was not executed at all. And in this case, there was, as you saw in the first clip, we're watching it in slow motion now, there was a few steps of passage. So let's talk about it. Was this score deserving of a zero, or were the other judges right? I think this lends itself to an interesting discussion. When I look at scores and what's happening, I often look at any of the indiscrepancies between the scores. The rest of the scores sort of seem on point, but that's the one that really sticks out to me. What do you think? Next, we're going to take a look at Diane Creech's ride through the Grand Prix. She had a decent ride, not without a few mistakes here and there, but a solid ride and a solid effort for a Canadian rider. Let's leave it at that. She came down center line and her horse came down center line in the passage with mostly punches in. There must have been something the horse was looking at. As it starts, she starts to lose its haunches, and then as she moves into the Piaf, the horse actually stops looks looks at the something on the sidelines and then she manages to get him back and carry on now this is another one where i think the scoring is actually quite interesting so let's take a look now let's try another one we look at the scores for the passage and they range from three to seven yeah yeah i know the judges are all sitting in different places. That's just the excuse that we're given as a gaslighting excuse for bad judging. So here we are today. Let's talk about it. So we are not going to use that excuse. What do you think is the correct score and how would you score this passage? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's have some fun.